Hello everyone. Today I'm going to attempt to make a mini forge from an ammo can and some fire block. I will put links to all of the tools and materials that I use in the description. And so let's get started. Here I'm marking the opening. Um, I originally marked the opening at two and a half inches wide by three inches high, uh, thinking that the fire block was two inches thick. It turns out it's two and a half inches thick, but that worked in my favor because that made my finish opening two and a half inches by two and a half inches, which is perfect. Let me say right now that this isn't a how-to video. It's more of a how I did it video. Um, that's something that I heard Adam Savage from Mythbusters say. I'm not an expert in anything. I don't have a plan when I go into these things. I see something on YouTube that interests me and inspires me and then I kind of make it up as I go along and see what I end up with. So this is a chronicle of that. As you can see the fire blocks are really easy to cut um, with just a regular wood saw. I found that if I scored all four sides of the cut like this that I got a much cleaner finished cut, a lot less to clean up. Um, so from this point it's just a matter of cutting everything to fit and uh, going from there. That's my boy TJ right there. Yeah, look at him flex. He's hoping for his chance at YouTube fame. <laughs> He's a good boy. He's my shop dog. Yeah, I removed the gasket from the lid. So I figured it would just melt if I didn't. If I were doing this again, I would make that top block taller so that it fit tighter against the lid. Um, here I'm cutting reliefs in the block. Actually, I'm cutting it down to size here. Next, I'll, I eventually cut reliefs in the block to clear the channel that the gasket was in in the lid. Yeah, this is where I cut the reliefs. I don't have any measurements, I didn't take any measurements, I just fit things together and size them and cut them. And uh, like I said, I make it up as I go along, see what I end up with.
I really should have been wearing a respirator while I was cutting those blocks, or at the very least, a dust mask. Um, I'm really bad at wearing my PPE, but I'm getting better. I'm going to mark one of the side blocks to drill a hole for the nozzle. I'm going to drill the hole at an angle uh, towards the back of the forge. Uh, I'll create some kind of swirl in there, hopefully. Uh, I don't know how it'll work in practice. In theory, it should work, but we'll see. And now here I am. This is, I'm using 3M uh, fireblock sealant. I'm using it more like a caulk and a glue. Um, I wasn't real familiar with the product when I started. Um, so again, making it up as I go along and learning from my mistakes. If I had to do it over again, I would at least coat the exposed faces of the blocks inside the forge with a layer of the of the uh, the sealant. And now it's just a matter of putting everything, putting all the pieces of the puzzle back together and then we'll fire the forge up. I just put it up on those extra blocks just so that the torch was sitting up at an angle so it didn't flood. Um, I put a, another block in front of the opening to help with it heating. It took about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to get it up to temperature. Um, so, and it worked pretty good. Well, I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, give me a like, subscribe. If you can think of anything that I could have done differently, or you have any questions, just leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, be safe and do something creative. <laughs>